In part three of lecture one, we will discuss conditional statements. Computers differ from calculators in that they can do different things depending on the conditions that they face. And there are a couple of ways in which we can look at this. Some problems may perform a set of instructions only under certain specific conditions. These will require an if construct, where if the condition is true, we'll do whatever it is that is required. Otherwise, we skip all of that. Others may require two or more alternate sets of instructions. If there are two of them, it will require an if-else construct. The most basic form of an if statement is the word if inside parentheses some expression that we'll evaluate as either true or false, and then a statement followed by a semicolon. The most basic form of an if-else is an if with some expression that will be evaluated true or false, again inside parentheses, a statement and a semicolon, then the reserved word else, and another statement also followed by a semicolon. Let's take a look at an example. Is it negative is the name of the program. A program is going to determine if a number we enter is negative or non-negative, non-negative meaning positive or zero. Our algorithm, the step-by-step -step process to, that the computer is going to follow, will involve getting the number and then printing whether it's negative or non-negative. We have the program is it negative dot Java. We begin as usual, import Java util scanner and a semicolon at the end. We begin the class with a header, public class, is it negative? And we have a comment saying that we are going to have to tell the user if the number is negative or non-negative. We say non-negative because it could be positive or it could be zero. The header for the main method, public static void main, in parentheses, string, open, close brackets, args, and after the close parenthesis, we have an open brace. Scanner keyboard equals new scanner system in makes input available to us. Now we write ask the user for a number. System out println, quote, please enter a number. Now after this we have double number equals keyboard dot next double. Open and close parenthesis and a semicolon. The next comment says, print whether the number is negative or not. Now we have here, if, and in parentheses, number is less than 0, 0.0. This makes it clear that we're comparing one double with another. System out println number, and then we continue the string with, is a negative number. Else, system out println number, and then we add to the end of the string, is not a negative number. Lastly, a close brace to end the main method and a close brace to end the program. Here you can see the six relational operators that are in Java. If we want to use equals, it's not one but two equal signs. The equal sign by itself is the assignment operator assigning, copying over the value for another variable. And the example here, you can see x equals equals y will be true if both x and y have the same value. Exclamation point equals, which is referred to frequently as bang equals, means that it's not equal to. And we know that one is not equal to zero. Greater than and less than signs are exactly what you learned in your algebra classes or even before then. Notice the wider end is for the greater value. The point is at toward the smaller of the two values. Now, greater than or equal to and less than or equal to are a little more difficult. Here we have the greater than sign followed by an equal sign, or similarly, the less than sign followed by the equal sign. 
that gives me greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Let's take a look at another example where we're calculating the speed based on the distance that you've driven and the time that it took you to drive that distance. If you're going over the speed limit, we will print a warning message. We know the following information. We know that the inputs that are available are distance in miles and time in hours. The required output is speed in miles per hour and a warning message if you have been going over the speed limit. We're going to start by writing import Java util scanner as always, and we will have a header for the file, public class speed, and then a comment telling us what it does. Calculate the speed that you are traveling from the distance and time that you have been driving. Print a warning if you are going over the speed limit. Now we have the header for the main method, public static void main, and in parentheses, string open close brackets args, and after the close parenthesis, an open brace to begin the main method. We'll declare the scanner correctly, scanner keyboard equals new scanner, open parenthesis system dot in, close parenthesis semicolon. Now we have a comment that will tell us the first step that we're doing. Read in the distance in miles and the time driven. System out println and open parenthesis quote, how many miles have you driven? Question mark, close quote, close parenthesis semicolon. Double miles equals keyboard dot next double open close parenthesis semicolon. And now let's read in the hours. System out println, open parenthesis, quote, how many hours did it take? Question mark, close quote, close parenthesis, semicolon. Double hours equals keyboard dot next double, open close parenthesis, semicolon. Now the comment, calculate and print the speed. Double speed equals miles divided by hours, semicolon. System dot out dot println open parenthesis, quote, you were driving at, quote, plus speed, plus, quote, miles per hour, close quote, close parenthesis, semicolon. Print the warning if appropriate is a comment that we add here. If, and in parentheses, speed is less than, I'm sorry, if speed is greater than 55, system up print, Lynn, quote, be careful, you are driving too fast. And then after that print statement, a closed brace for the main method and a closed brace for the class. Let's examine a statement that will appear in a program to convert from pounds to kilograms. Kg equals LBS divided by 2.2. Dividing pounds by 2.2 will give us the number of kilograms. Now, where does that 2.2 come from? And what we know is that there are 2.2 pounds per kilogram, so that division does the conversion for us. How would we know this if we were not familiar with the nature of the problem? We begin the program with the usual import Java util scanner. We begin the class with the header public class convert pounds and then open brace for the class. A comment telling us what the program will do. Convert pounds to kilograms. The input is weight in pounds. The output is weight in kilograms. We begin the main method by writing public static void main and in parentheses string open close brackets args and then an open brace to begin the main method. We declare the keyboard Scanner keyboard equals new scanner system in, so we can get input from the keyboard. Final double pounds per kilogram equals 2.2. The word final in front of the declaration means that the value cannot be changed, which guarantees that it will remain 2.2 throughout this. And it makes it easy for us to see why we have 2.2 in the program. 
get the pound in get the weight in pounds. System out println what is the weight in pounds? And then double pounds equals keyboard dot next double. We now have a comment ensure that the weight in pounds is valid. If it is valid, calculate and display the weight in kilograms. So we write if and in parentheses LBS is less than zero. That means the pounds would be negative value. That can't be. System out println pounds and then afterwards is not a valid weight. Else open brace kilograms equal double kilograms equal pounds divided by pounds per kg. System out println the weight is kg and then kilograms. We now have a closed brace. Notice that for the else clause, we have two statements inside an open and closed brace. And this comes before we have the closed brace for the main method and the closed brace for the class.